Welcome back, my friendly friends, to more Trails Through Daybreak, and we'll be proceeding after a lot happened last episode. Not really sure what to make of all of it, but we did see some more. We saw more returning faces, but obviously I'm more interested in the new people, except for Zine. Zine returning is awesome and overdue. What's all this, then? Okay, is this... Is this Hercules? Hmm. You got a red faction and a blue faction. This here will be the turning point. All units, assume the dual lancer formation. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So they be Shine! To the sun! Are they Jaegers? That's a girl? Too easy. I've got you. Oh, flames. Not Become one with me. So, okay. <laughs> look at that. Guess we lost this one. Huh. Regimental commander of the Eyes and Shield, Garant Riga. So, the blue faction is the Eyes and Shield, and they're the Falcons of the Sun. They look to be, I guess, I thought that was a guy, like, I thought that was actually a little boy in the opening, but clearly that's not a, but she's a party member, the, the kid. We are open to accepting your offer for a ceasefire. How does a 7-3 split sound? Vice Chief of the Warriors of Kruger. Hassan al Fayed. Mmm. We will accept no less than 6 4. Fail to accept, and the fighting continues. Very well. 6 4 to us it is. Glory to the Kruger! Glory to Arusha! What the heck are the Falcons of the Sun then? Yeah! <sighs> Literally. <laughs> Literally calling her a child soldier. Hey, they're not sugarcoating it, but she's not the first. Very much isn't the first. That works, I guess. I figured more it was going to end in a draw. So they are Jaegers. This seems very civil, actually. Your counterattack was really good. Just lacking that bit of oomph at the end. So they're basically sisters, even if they're fighting on opposite sides. If you'd seen my attempt to throw you off balance coming, you'd have had a slew of more strategic options to work with. <sighs> you're... you're right. I, I can't get over They're just straight up calling Thanks. her a child. Ida. Ida, okay. Think nothing of it. You've got a lot of potential. You just need more practice and to up your stamina. Ida has the aura of a of a boss battle, like uh, the kind of person that'll show up and then you fight them for a, one reason or another, like uh, Zeno and Leo. With enough of both, you'll be right on the heels of my other little sister from back in the day in no time. Other little sister? I guess there's only one other person Ida could be talking about, but... Do you mean Sylphie? Yeah, exactly who I was talking about. I'd still like to know more about her. Her Ida's other little sister. But at this point... Well, I guess Fee would only be about... She'd be in her early 20s, I guess. Hey! <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> I can't help it. I see this hair and I just get the urge to ruffle it. Hmm... Well, next time we meet off the battlefield, I'll tell you about my old core. So, she was part of Zephyr then. Zephyr's got a whole lot of stories in it to tell. Why'd she jump ship? Awesome! Better make that a promise. And she's got some kind of... It didn't look like she was using a Zypha, but maybe she's just slicker with it than we were anticipating, and that's exactly what she was doing. We shall have to see. 
Ooh. September 9th, or September 6th, rather. Chapter 1, The Young Flame Departs. September 6th, 12.08, 9.30am. Messeldom Film Festival cancelled in response to terrorist threat. Minor conflict at the southern base of the Ishgal Mountains concludes, which I'm sure that's what we were just seeing. Major capital firm expands into Langport's new district. <sighs> Damn, I just wanted to see if there was anything interesting going on, but all I get is doom and gloom. Yeah, so he's basically doom scrolling then, is what he's saying. Still, the info here is put together real nice and organized, even if the design's got the admin's tastes all over it. So he's just he's just reading Kitty's newsletter then? Genesis Antique Orbment, Claude Epstein, Hollow System, Mysterious Phenomena. So he's trying to search Almada Grendel. Your search keywords returned very few results. Try using different keywords. Should have known. Haven't heard a thing about Almada in a while now. They must have pulled out of Edith for the time being. Okay, so we don't need them to be fodder like Ravach was, or Ravach turned out to be. As for Genesis and the Grendel, still coming up empty. You'd think we'd go down and like practice using it or something, or maybe we can't maybe we can't activate it because it seems like Mayor the way Van reacted made it seem like she's always like that, so I guess she's not good for tutorializing anything. Are they being actively deleted? Is this all part of some big cover-up? Yeah, yeah, just tell me what you want. So she does say that all the time. She's the same as usual, too. Should I call on Marduk? Nah, that'd probably just cause even more headaches for me. Wonder who that is. It's probably going to turn out to be the old guy from the opening. Well, it's almost time for my regular checkup, so I may as well put a pin in it. <sighs> Why do I feel like I'm going to get in here full this time? A regular checkup. So he's, I mean, it's good to have those, but. And there's his intern. Want to not bang my door in, Humes? Whoa, you're up already? That's crazy. Does she? Well, she probably just attends. Do they do Sunday school here? It really feels like Edith might be the place with like a proper elementary school. Good morning, man. You better be earning an honest living up here. No bringing shame to the goddess or your landlords. And she's serious about it too. She'll definitely kick him out if she needs to. No prizes for guessing who you learned all that from. How about taking after your mother instead? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to become a charming, pretty lady just like her one day? Yeah, I want to be just like Mommy. Oh, but Agnes is really pretty, too. Where is she at? Is she here? <laughs> okay, and she is wearing her new getup. Come on in. Don't be shy. Well, if you say so. I thought it would take... I thought it would take a lot longer for her to- and also she's not a bracer, which I was completely wrong about that. You said not to come in my uniform, so I wore this. Um, how do I look? Like you're ready to help a lot of people. It'll work, I guess. It's like- I like- what? It's- she looks really cool. Kinda too dressy for casual walking around town, but then again. Going the plane route with you would just make you stick out like a sore thumb. Still beats the uniform either way. That's good. You're being mean, Van. She looks really pretty, so you should tell her she looks really pretty. All right, Yume's already got it all figured out. Come on, let's ditch this big loser and eat some breakfast. We're serving bacon quiche with pumpkin soup today. That sounds amazing. Oh, that sounds delicious. Lead the way. Well, damn. Those two sure hit it off quick. Yeah, she's got a brand new big sister. All right, so let's get down to business. All right, this is now your first official day on the job. 
first thing's gonna be going over how all this works. I could use a formal primer, so yes, please do. Now, unless a major job comes in, I just go around the city helping people out with little problems. Yeah, he's a bracer, like we said. As for how I take him on, well, you'll see. It's not the usual route, but it gets the job done and us paid. The plan today is going to involve you touring around with me so you can get a visual on all of the above. Was that why you were concerned about me standing out too much in my uniform? Yeah, yeah, and one more thing. I pretty much told you this when we first met, but not all the jobs I take are above board. Some of them are from crooks. Some are damn near illegal. I don't take on anything and everything, of course. I do turn down, uh, turn jobs down sometimes. Okay, so that's different. We've definitely, we've helped out with a lot of, well, like, like, uh, we've never had taken on a bracer job that was anything but squeaky clean. But... What I'm comfortable doing and what an average student is comfortable doing are gonna be very different. So, one more time. You sure you wanna work with me? Yes. I know the world isn't always such a pretty place. That awareness may not be though, uh, maybe not be through personal experience, but I'd say that even for a 16 year old girl, I know a lot more than the average student about both sides of the coin. How old are you, by the way? Okay, I'm going to guess that Van Arkride is 22 years old. Where'd that come from? 24. Oh, so he's several years older than Reen and Estelle and Lloyd then. Well, he might only be two-ish years older than them, but still, he's the oldest protagonist, even with all the time skips. Really? I thought you were a little younger than that. Same here. Though it makes sense with how much life experience you seem to have, your clothes, room, and hobbies seem to be a generation ahead of mine, too. So you're almost a decade older than me, huh? Yeah, yeah. To a high school student, I might as well be knocking on death's door already. And you know what? He ain't lying! Oh my gosh. When you're 16 years old, 24 being your mid-20s, and see what he's... Oh my gosh. But then, it, it comes at you quick. It comes at you quick. Make the most of your teenage years, alright? Might feel like an eternity until you graduate, but the second you cross 20, you'll be walking with your cane like an old codger in no time. <laughs> Oh, I didn't say being in your 20s was old, just that you were older than me. Circling back to what we were talking about before, you don't have to worry about me. I'm confident I can handle any task you give me. Huh, I'll be the judge of that. We'll be sticking to three of the city's districts. First, I'll show you around Old Town where we are now, which is the 8th district. I use some of the shops here in my day-to-day -day work, so they'll be worth committing to memory. That sounds good. I'm ready when you are. Getting ready for a hard day's work? Is that not... I've already I've already forgotten her, her name. That's right. Oh, thank you. I've put her on a trial period to start with. Then that's all the more reason why you need to support her while she learns. Paulette, let me make sure I commit that to memory. Don't overdo it today, and make sure you're back in time for dinner. I mean that for you too, Agnes. We'll have a piping hot, delicious meal waiting for you. Right, this job's got a bunch of good perks. Wouldn't want it to get cold now, would you? You're not her mom, you know. Aw, thank you. I already can't wait. The people here are so sweet. You're really blessed to have such a wonderful family as landlords. Shame the old man's always getting on my case, though. Anyway, we'll head off as soon as you finish your coffee. You got you-know-what with you, right? The Genesis. Uh, I do. You told me to keep it on me at all times to prevent it from being stolen. Good. 
Who knows if it'll activate out of nowhere like it did before. Oh, maybe that's why we haven't been able to practice with it. We don't know how to get it to do that. But as long as I'm with you, I'll back you up as best I can. Gotta look out for my new assistant while I'm still giving her the tour, right? <laughs> right. And speaking of, shall we? We shall. Then let the workday begin. Alright. So, what's the first order of business? The first thing I do every day while I'm working is check the notice boards around the city. There's one here in Old Town, so let's go check that one out for starters. Got it! Oh, we should probably go talk to Victor before we head out, though. We should pay a visit to the repair shop down the alley up front, too. Does the repair shop, do they work on orbments? Understood. Victor first, then? After which, we can check the notice board and visit the repair shop. Got it. Alright. Oh, we're... We're still playing as her. Event marker. Required events, 4 SPGs, quests, optional 4 SPGs, and sub-events. Okay. You can now use the travel menu. Press... Oh, it's different. You fast, you fast traveled hitting the down button in the previous games. Ooh. So slick. And we can chat with them. And we can shop with her. Hmm. Heading out again? As your landlord, I can't help taking notice. I won't ask what you're doing. Just be smart out there. You get me? Of course. Thank you for your concern. Don't worry about me, though. I know what I need to do. Good answer. Van, she comes back with so much as a scratch on her, and I'm personally burying you. Mark my words. Alright, I get it. Don't pop a blood vessel. Hm. I wouldn't worry about her if you didn't give me a reason to. Anyhow, you've been eating properly, right? More or less. Sometimes you may dump the leftover veggies on me. And I do cook for myself a lot. Really? I didn't realize you could cook. Why is that surprising? I make a mean sweet omelet, I'll have you know. A sweet omelet? Ugh. Sweet omelet? So Van, Van has a massive sweet tooth, I take it. Still rotting your teeth with that stuff, huh? Here, make some better stuff. Obtain ingredient set, so we're gonna be able to start cooking now. Oh, thanks. Are you sure it's okay to give us so much? Eh, just some leftovers from this morning. No worries. You get hungry, whip something up for yourselves. The office's kitchen is now available for cooking. We can't cook anywhere? Cooking and ingredients. If you have ingredients, you can cook in the office's kitchen and its charging stations. All right. Cooking items. So you eat a cooked recipe for the first time, you receive gourmet points. So we don't learn recipes by eating them for the first time. We get GP. All right. The earning of points raises your gourmet rank, which in turn increases your party's stat values. What? Meals cannot be used in battle, but heals the whole party and nets lots of gourmet points. Snacks can be used in battle with the triangle items. Ranking up via cuisine eaten during battle happens after combat is over. The achievements section of the main menu is now unlocked. So we can get achievements in addition to trophies? Press up on the main menu to open achievements. A mark will appear on the main menu icon if an achievement has been completed. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Off, right. Off, okay. Off, okay. Right. Okay. I'm not gonna keep doing that. Right. We'll just stick with, because I always just run around as whoever the default is. So we'll just stick with Van. Let's take a look at his garage. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Stanley's factory. Do they also? Is the notice board here? There's a second thing. Whoops. 
Looks like Rebecca's concentrating on her work. Okay. Yo, Van! What brings you by today? Sup? Now I got me a part-timer, so I'm here to bring her up to speed on resources. This place is super useful, on yes. You come here if you need any technical work done. What does that say? Orbment regulator? Uh, so this is the shop you mentioned before. I see. Does the workshop service orbments too? Yep. Me and my sister Rebecca are orbment technicians. She's way better at it than I am, though, so you can leave that work to her. I'm guessing we have to take a look at the notice board before Rebecca becomes free. I'm more the shop's manager than anything, really. This place is your bargain bin outlet for mechanical stuff. They'll repair them, too. And not just machines! We buy and sell just about anything we can get our hands on. Feel free to take a look around if you're interested. Certainly! Admittedly, my sister's kind of out there, so I handle customers' payments and that stuff. But you'll probably be fine with her. She's used to you, Van, so she'll take your work on no prob. Good to know. Bargain bin. Oh, I thought, okay, well, I thought he was being insulting, but I guess not. You can even find special items you missed on the first time around. Okay, so this is the exchange shop of this place, then. Do you know what you want? We can trade. Prime beast flesh, prime essence. And we can go ahead and sell bro our sepith mass. So we can actually have some tin coin. Item drop plus 15%. Hmm. Yeah. I hope to see you again. And let's see what's in the bargain. Do you game. know what you want? Vitality droplet. Increases base stats. I hope to see you again. Ugh! Oh, Van! Don't scare me like that! I thought my heart was gonna jump right out of my chest! Yo, pull on another all-nighter? If you're that jumpy, you're probably better off just going to bed. I just thought you might have been a customer. She reacts like that to customers? And that's how you greet a customer? Well, yes. Customers are scary. People are scary. Outside of a few of the regulars here, I just can't handle them. Who's that? That girl over there. She's got crazy social anxiety. Uh, don't mind me. I'm like Van's assistant. Okay. Wait. She's not scaring me? That's weird. So, um... Oh, sorry. Just thinking. I don't envy you. Being Van's assistant sounds tough. Having to go out in the sun and... And talk to people? Do you have to work with them too? I could never do that. Don't push yourself too hard out there, okay? It's hard work. I appreciate the concern. I'll keep myself in check. I feel as though she's a bit too worried about me. Projection. She speaks machine. Real genius like that. But she can't handle people to save her life. At any rate, I can uh, Can I count on you to keep her Zypha spick and span? Roger that. We have this Zypha exclusive tuning device from the Vern Company. You can have this. It's, um, a token of our partnership. Amethyst ring. Ooh, is that a, that's a special Zypha quartz then. Oh, are you sure? Uh-huh. I just happened to make a few and we don't have them here yet anyway. There's not much you can do with them, but they should still help you out. Oh, but before you can use them, you'll probably need to unlock some slots. Slots? Yep. You need an open slot to install an orbment in. The more slots you've un install an orbment in. Does she mean a quartz? The more slots you've unlocked, the more orbments you can use. Does she mean quartz? What's she talking about? 
Want to give it a shot? Sure, sounds good. Oh, right. You need Sepith to open slots. And wait, we didn't have the capability of selling our other color Sepith at all. Here, let me give you some of the Sepith I borrowed. Some of the Sepith she borrowed? Received 30 of each type. Oh, you sure? You don't have to if you needed that. But if you're okay with it, that works out nicely. Let's get cracking. Opening slots. You can modify orbments and spend Sepith to unlock slots at factories within shops. I select open slot. Okay. So we should probably prioritize on yes. Both of them only have level one quartz. We'll do, because this slot only has, let's do this one. It costs us 60, hold on. What's the cheapest, okay, yeah. We'll start with, we can do a, let's do 30. And then we'll also do 30 for Van. And if she's got... These are 60. Holy crap. Alright. And maybe... I don't think we have enough for any specialized slots. No, not for her anyways. Van? There might have... Okay, and we can do Van. Alright. That's fine. Plenty O slots. And we can't change... Well, we'll probably get the opportunity... Get the ability to change their hollow at some point. Really appreciate it, Rebecca. Oh, it's no big deal. You're always helping me out anyway. I needed to return the favor. If you ever need work done on your Zypha, or you just need some new Quartz, feel free to drop by. Quartz Combinations. You can create Quartz from Sepith at factories within shops. Alright, so that's all... Okay. Does she say... Does she say something because we bumped into her? Ow. Oh, okay, well, let me... Let me stop shoving her. Oh, bro's having a hard time of it? He'll be aight. So this must be the notice board. Okay. Why would they have you check the notice board before... Do okay, well, whatever. Or suggest it, because clearly you don't have to do it in that order. Oh, is this what you were talking about earlier? Yep. I usually get requests through bulletin boards like this one. They're all over the city, too. Not just in Old Town. Sure, I see advertisements and messages and other kinds of information posted on them all the time. But do people really pull, uh, put in Spriggan requests on them too? Yep, but you gotta know where to look for them. Was that behind the bulletin board? Sure was. See how it says 4SPG? That means for Spriggan. Oh, that's what that means. I've been like, I've been wondering. I'm like, did somebody mention that? They keep for SPG for Spriggan. That's funny. Been going out of my way to spread rumors about it. So people reach out this way. Partly for my own safety, but it also gives me some breathing room so I can pick and choose which jobs I take. To be honest, I don't get clients like you often. Not many actually bother to track me down. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry if I broke any rules. Nah, it's not set in stone. Everyone's different, so you're fine. Anyway, let's see what kind of job this is. Friendly felon. I saw my friend stealing money from the register at his part-time job. He must have his reasons for doing what he did, but as his friend, I can't just leave him be. So could I get your help? 
I'll be waiting in the plaza in Old Town. I'll fill you in on the details in person. Lot. Friendly felon has been added to the to-do list. They want you to investigate a friend they caught stealing? So this is what people post about. This might just be the perfect gig to get your feet wet and see how work rolls. The meeting spot's not far from here at all. Let's go talk to him when we're ready. All right, if you're sure. 4SPG, you can accept 4SPG's quests by inspecting bulletin boards. You can com uh, completing 4SPG's raises Van's LGC alignment. Law Gray Chaos. Ooh, very cool. There is an alignment system here? Depending on your LGC, Law Gray Chaos. It's not neutral, okay. Law Gray Chaos level. You might be able to work with groups associated with a specific alignment. So, depending on how this has been implemented, this game might have much more replayability than the previous ones. Even a group unaffiliated with Law or Chaos. So, I guess trying to stay as gray as possible would be good? Hmm. The to-do list has now been unlocked. That's, dude, that's actually incredibly interesting. Law Gray Chaos, huh? And so Buddy Boy is here so, wait, what? It's, is it upstairs? Oh, okay, cool. He looks very anxious. Um, give me one second though. One sec. Let's see what you're talking about, Lot. <sighs> I posted the request, but will they really come? Hey, Van. Do you think that's our client? Don't see who else it could be. Are you Lot? We're from Arc Ride Solutions. Wait, Van said that he does this to to for his own safety, right? But then, if he does all the stuff in person, then wouldn't people be able to work backwards from there? Hmm. All right. Well, or just or just lure him out that way. Like imagine, like, like imagine you steal something, and then Van comes and steals it back, and you have somebody uh, post a request, and he comes, and then you just have like fifty dudes jump on his head. But. I guess you could also do that to bracers that you pick a bone with, and nobody's ever done that to them, so... But they're a huge organization. A very capable, a historically extremely capable organization. Well, whatever, I'm overthinking that. Oh, nice to meet you. Yes, I'm Lot. I'm the one who made the request. I've heard stories about you, but I never thought I'd get to talk to you in person. I wasn't too sure if asking a Spriggan for help would get me anywhere, but I had to try. Thank you so much for coming. I need your help to save my friend. Save your friend? He just did a bit of petty theft. All right, we'll see what we can do, so don't worry. Name's Van. I'm the boss, and this here's Agnes. She's kind of like my assistant. I still have a lot to learn, but I promise I'll do everything I can to help. Oh, so you help out with problems too? I wouldn't expect a girl like you to... Uh, sorry, no offense or anything. I know I shouldn't judge your book by its cover, but there I go sticking my foot in my mouth. She's dressed like a bracer, too. Though, looking closer at her outfit, because bracers, they've got like a whole bunch of different, like, they've got a lot of leather padding and straps and belts and stuff on them. So, the aesthetic, the aesthetic is subtly different. Her aesthetic is subtly different. <laughs> That's okay, no offense was taken. Enough chatting. Let's get down to brass tacks. I wouldn't be surprised if in Japanese he was apologetic, but not before getting through his whole, like, uh, this isn't suited for girls type situation. Your request mentioned your friend swiping some cash from the till at work, right? And you wanted to figure out why. Could you not just... This really feels like it's the sort of thing that could be resolved by just talking to him. What if he needed gas money or something? Uh, orbital gas money. 
I'm sure, yeah, Van's got a car. He just needed orbital gas money. Mind giving us a rundown of the situation? What's this, well, what this friend's like and anything else you can think of? Not at all. My friend's name is Daniel. We've known each other since we went to Sunday school. Okay, so Sunday school is still a thing in Calvert. Nowadays, we're both working at the same cafe part-time. Oh, okay. So, they're work if you're working at the same cafe and, you're and you guys go way back and your friend is stealing, that's both your jobs in jeopardy. It sounds like you two are close. Yeah, we are. Which is why something just doesn't add up for me. He's such a good guy. I've never known him to do anything bad in my entire life. If they're if they're if they're boyos going back for so long, why doesn't he just ask him? I'm sure we're gonna find out, so let me go ahead and just focus. It all happened right as we were closing up shop yesterday. I just so happened to see him slip the money from the register into his pocket. I was honestly really shocked. I can imagine why. It sounds really out of character for him to do that. What did you do after that? Uh, um, nothing, actually. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I was too chicken to confront him. I just pretended like I didn't see anything. Don't get the wrong idea. I was worried, so I tried asking around without giving it away. You know, to see if anyone had any idea what was going on. I finally got a lead this morning. I learned that Daniel is going to do some shopping at the Orbel store over on Station Street. And people go to Orbel stores all the time. Doesn't really mean anything by itself. Maybe if you don't know Daniel, I don't know anyone with less interest in Orbel devices than him. He must have a good reason to go looking for it. When you put it like that, I can see how it might look a little worrying. Thanks for the rundown. I think we've got a good idea of what's going on. First, I think we gotta figure out what he was planning on buying with the money he swiped. Alright, alright then. Should we get to work? Friendly felon, lots. Okay. We can accept her. Is it gonna tell us? We know our SP reward. Oh, it's got a, it's three star importance, so this is a required for Spriggan. Oh, okay, so that, it does tell us what, this will up our law and our gray. All right. All right, ready to roll. We're gonna stake out your friend. Keep an eye on his movements for a little while and see if anything turns up. Sound good? Yes, that's fine. Thank you again for agreeing to help. I wonder, because 100, like, Falcom fans like 100%ing their games. And, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like opine on that right now and then just be told the answer. I'd rather just see for myself, so. Hold up, before I go, I still got some questions for you. First, what does Daniel actually look like? Right, Daniel's got black hair and he usually wears a brown jacket. I should have a photo of him around somewhere. I can send it to you later. Okay, so sending he'll send it to us later. So I'm um, so Zyphas are just basically as ubiquitous as cell phones then. Black hair and a brown jacket. Got it. We'll keep an eye out for him. That's <laughs> I'm not sure if you could get Okay, well whatever. You do that. In the meantime, think you can figure out exactly when he's gonna go to the store? You two are close, so you've got a better chance than anyone else of figuring that out. You've got a point. I'll see what I can do. I'll let you two know what I find out after I get in contact with him. Perfect. Time to get to work then. It was nice to meet you lot. Don't worry, we'll take care of this. Time to start working. Quest Friendly Felon started. Ah, F it. Because Falcom fans like 100%ing their games, so I'm assuming if you do every... Okay, there's actually two different ways this particular cookie can crumble. One is that every single request gives a set amount of alignment points. So if you do all of them, you'll end up gray most of all, I guess. Or there are requests with di or are there requests with divergent ends? So a decision that you make during one will give you more law or chaos points. So depending on what you do during a request, you can 100% the game but end up with a different alignment. 
I trust Falcom enough to, it's probably gonna be maybe along the lines of that second thing, but we'll see. We'll see how this, we'll see how this turns out. All right, next we need to head to Station Street so we can take care of Lot's request. Gotcha. We can also check out the bulletin board while we're there. Might have some four SPGs. Let's head on over. You can now visit Station Street. So Van's probably not the only Spriggan. I'm assuming some of those party members that we saw are also going to turn out to be Spriggans. General Store Newberry. Is there someone here? Yeah, see, this guy's got black hair and a green jacket. What if that's our guy? And they just, we have to talk to all the shopkeeps first? Well, if it isn't Van, I really do owe you for your help. Thanks to you, I haven't been gouged a single Mira. It's such a relief, seriously. Good to hear. Nothing gets by the old van. You run into anything else? Let me know. I'll give you the neighborhood discount. <laughs> you really know how to keep your customers loyal. Oh, before I forget, I told myself I'd hand this to you the next time you dropped by. Here, take it. Tira bombs, good, because we like use our our usage of the Tira bomb last episode was ridiculous overkill it heals 1500 hp which is like three times as much as we're working with right now hey thanks for the tip these definitely won't go to waste good oh and this lady here would be your new part-timer i've heard a good deal about her already no doubt from you mayor paulette or victor isn't she just adorable now i'm not sure how your paths crossed young lady but i wish you the best of luck under his wing Th uh, thank you. I'll do my best. Now well, she'll cough up the goods. Looking is always free, you know. Strawberry financier. And we have to actually eat them in order to get the gourmet points. Come back for more anytime. I should probably... 4SP... Oh, it tells us the number of active 4SPGs we have. And let's take a look at these achievements. Or what's, uh... Okay, we have to hit start in order to do it. Law alignment level 2. So we can hit... Okay, so we... these are what we need to... Oh. One hollow core maxed. Neat. Okay, so these... I'm getting rewards. Okay, cool. So we'll be checking the achievements a lot. It's free rewards. No reason not to. Oh, so I guess this is just the, uh, I guess that's just the theme for the bakery. Or what's this place called? For the bistro. And I wish I wasn't, because uh, somebody's got the, the radio on. Something about a sales store warning, in effect? It's hard to make out. Hmm. We've got... Okay, so that's the bistro. That's Candy Cigarette Lady. I think this is Brenda, who we're standing next to. So, who's down here? Okay, Stanley Factory. That's, um... Chris and Rebecca. So the we got one more shop, I think. Then, yeah, one more shop. Say, why not take some flowers with you? S Siete florist. Hey, Van. Welcome. Tell you what, how'd you like some gerbera daisies today? In the language of flowers, they symbolize progress and hope. Perfect for a nice, optimistic autumn day like this one, no? Quite the sales pitch there. No wonder you're popular with the flowery types. I think a particular kind of flowery type, judging by this crowd. Indeed, this little shop is quite lovely. <laughs> well, today's a bit different. Word's gotten out about what I'm whipping up. Is he crossbreeding plants? I'm using some uh, flower nectar to make sweet muffins. Ooh, sounds like something Van would be very interested in. They're going on sale today. <laughs> yeah. 
What muffins? Huh? Sweet mu- Oh, right. You've got a sweet tooth, don't you? They go on sale this afternoon, but do you want me to set some aside for you? You're a good man, Raymond. Never forget that. Van. <laughs> ah! Okay, that I like that aspect of Van a lot. It, it's, it's actually pretty cool, honestly. It's a lot better than being oblivious with ladies. I'm happy for you. More desserts are, um, never a bad thing. Like he doesn't. Van definitely doesn't strike, hey, especially after his comment. Because uh, I think Van or Lloyd back in the police station would have reacted like, gee willikers, what are you talking about? And genuinely mean it. Whereas Van was like, hold up. Don't go putting nothing on me that I'm not saying about myself now. Rose corsage. Hmm. Though artificial has the sense of roses. Is it just me or is that insanely expensive? Hmm. It okay, and we can see how that would affect their stats. Um, I don't think, I, I don't think again. an additional like 12 points cumulatively is worth almost 10% of our money. So we're not going to be doing that. All right. So we can, we can just fast travel to station street. Godlike or Adios like I should say. Oh, okay, it's gonna start us off on the stage uh, on the thing checking message history mid decision this they've modernized quite a bit There's tip screens when you're loading now Holding down L2 hides the message and decision window further pressing up does something or other. Oh, they got orbital taxis This is the area in front of the station the seventh district. Of course. I'm sure this ain't your first time coming here It isn't it'd be hard to live in Edith and not come here from time to time. My work brings me here plenty too, so that's not going to be changing. Aside from the station itself, there's also the department store where you can stock up on items and equipment. Okay, good. I'm glad we didn't end up wasting any money on that corsage, or maybe this stuff here is going to be just worse, and we'll wish we had. Then there's the Orbital Cafe over there. If you need anything Zypho related, that's where you'll want to go. It looks so modern. As long as you know where those two places are, you're golden. You can get most stuff you need between them. The head branch of the Bracer Guild in Calvert is also here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but I'd rather not go anywhere near there unless we got a good reason to. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to encounter Elaine. Oh, how come? Call it a business rivalry. Not to mention we can brush up against the line of what's considered strictly legal here and there. And we definitely don't want to. Don't want any undue bracer attention. The less they notice us, the better. You can go and visit them if you want, but I'd rather not go with you. I see. For someone who wants nothing to do with the guild, he seemed to know that bracer we encountered in the Riverside District very well. Anyway, now that we're here, let's just look around for a bit until our client calls. Right. So let's get to exploring Station Street. Is this the uh this is the place that we went to? This is where we had the boss battle. Damn, this place is packed today. <laughs> Not good with crowds, I assume. Nah, I love them. Perfect thing to slip into when someone's tailing my ass. You know what? <sighs> it's okay, I will say. It's kind of strange. The giant delays with the active voice is different. They've got a giant. Okay, well, I guess we know where the cashier is at. Wait, were those like ATMs or something? This is. This, it's. I'm. I'm looking at the difference between this place. Like the difference between this place and even Zeiss over in Liberal is unreal. It had a like everywhere in Liberal had like a real rustic aesthetic to it this is like a 2024 like internet cafe this is the orbital cafe i've never seen a store like this anywhere else but here oh see she just commented on that me neither it's a pretty novel concept come in buy some orbments and kick back and relax with some coffee or tea the owner's wise beyond his years he's a barista too isn't he wow multi-talented yeah, the guy's pretty quirky. 
Anyway, we're only here to make use of the Orbal Factory. Let's make our way over to the counter. All right. So we can shop. That's the manager. We can top. We can shop immediately with her. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, okay. Cause I'm like, are these ATMs or something? What's bro doing back there? Oh, Mr. Arkride. I was just about to get in contact with you. Hope it's cause you have good news for me. I do. Your arts plugins arrived. Arts plugins. What's all this then? Um, a plugin? Oh, yeah. You probably don't know what those are. We do not. You know your Zypha's arts drivers, yeah? Yes, I have several arts set up in mine. Yeah, they still got some empty slots in them where you can put arts in. So, the Zypha Quartz have slots too? Those are custom slots. That's right. Plugins are what you use to set arts into custom slots. And here are the ones you ordered, Van. Received a variety of plugins. Since you paid for those in advance, I can go straight to setting them for you if you'd like. Be my guest. Improving arts drivers. The below options are available in factories within shops via set plugin from the ornament menu. Change arts driver. Change the equipped arts driver. Set arts plugin. Set an arts plugin you want into an open slot. That art can then be used. Open slot. Unlock a slot by spending Sepeth. What? Plugins can be set by selecting set plugin. It blows my mind. There are absolute Falcom demons who played this game with like with like a game facts translation guide to it i love these games but i probably would have been like f all this i'm about to wait for the official release right about here because what are they talking about arts what's it ever wait so the hollow core and okay the hollow core and arts driver it looks like the Hollow Core and Arts Driver are to this game as the Master Quartz and Sub Master Quartz were to the previous couple games. But I'm gonna I like, clearly they've revamped things quite a bit, and I and I don't I wanna shy away from that sort of thinking because the battle system is completely different, and this is probably not a one-to-one -one either. And if I try to think of it that way, I'll probably miss a whole lot of nuance. So I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm looking at though. I'm not even gonna lie. What is going on? Okay, plugins can be set to this empty slot. See, I thought when we were equipping, because in the previous games, you learn new arts by putting, by, by setting quartz. Was that, has that not been what we were doing up until this point? It seemed like it. Let's give Van the ability to heal. Arts Virtuoso. Uh, okay, okay. No, not okay. I don't... So it's just... We just have multiple different tiers of slots? And we can't open... Because we were doing this with the Zypha. Oh, okay. Yes, it does look like I'm right about that because I'm looking at the actual thing now. You've got Mare in the center and then the Arts Driver to the right of that with no associated lines. So this is... So this is like... Okay, it basically... They're... This actually, the arts driver is actually closer to the master quartz though, because you get a you get a full bevy of different arts from this uh, arts driver, whereas the hollow core itself, I'm not entirely certain what the hollow core is even doing. But either way, we can't do much else here. So let's set. She she can't hit. We don't have anyone who can hit earth weaknesses, so we can hit wind, time, water. Space. Wait. 
Okay, H level 2. So we need to hit Hollow Core level 2. So we can't hit Fire or Earth at the moment. Uh, Let's go for Earth. Okay. Oh, so that's how you set arts in, which I guess we weren't doing when we were equipping Xypha Quartz. It's gonna, it's different. It's gonna, I'll get used to it, but at the moment, I, I can't claim to understand it. Yeah, and you're only shelling out for the plugin itself. Setting them costs nothing. That's about as much as I can really teach you. The rest you'll probably learn as you get used to them. That aside, I didn't realize she was also a Xypha user. It's a long story. So I guess Xyphas aren't as ubiquitous then. How's bro gonna send us that picture then? Our shop stocks both Arts Drivers and Arts Plugins. You're more than welcome to come by if you ever need either. But not Hollow Cores. Thank you, I will. Orbman Shop. The below options are available at certain Orbman related shops. Okay, Arts Drivers, no, I think I was onto something. If we only, if we have like a, if we have like dozens of different options for plugins and only a couple of different options for drivers, then the drivers I'm sure are more like Master Quartz then. But then, oh. Ugh, my setup. Okay, we'll see how we get more though. So let's shop. Need help with something? We do. Synthesize quartz drivers. Yep, see? A bunch of we can get a bunch of different plugins. Yeah, okay, so that's it. So Thalus, Spark Edge, Saint Arrow Breath, Lost Mobius, all of which are wait! Thalus is space element now? That's really weird. Okay, but let's buy Celebrate. So these, so drivers are just the Zypha version of Master Quartz. Okay, okay, that's fine. Plugins, and we can buy all of these if we want, and I think we do want. Forte, definitely. Crest, also definitely. And we can only buy one of each. Hopefully I don't regret doing that. Customize. So the plug, oh, they've delineated them. That's so, because previously Quartz just encompassed all of them, but now Quartz, I guess, are the stat enhancers and plugins are the actual attacks. Whereas before it was all just Quartz. So what are you selling? What do you have today? Cat strap. I'll bet you anything this probably pairs with- Ooh, new Zypha covers. Which, I actually don't understand the point of these. You only ever see them in a singular menu. Or maybe they show up in a- Maybe they show up in cutscenes, too. I, I never bothered with it, though. Evasion and Arts Evasion, plus 4%. Whoa. Van can't evade- Van can't evade magic at all at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna be a bit more, but now I understand they've just split them for some reason. Do you have any preferences? Maple scone. We do, we have preferences for everything you got here. Thanks for coming in. Yes, sir. Very cute. And there's a there's another floor to this place? Oh, okay. I'm sure there's probably gonna be a cutscene or two up there. Probably meet a deep throat or something like that. But for right now. And then, okay, and seamless loading. That's excellent. In the previous games, entering and exiting a shop was very old school. You get there, and oh, she's wearing a cheap owl type thing. She's probably Eastern then. The next appointment's at. Bro is still out here drunk. Oh my god. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. It'll be fine. And where's the Weston? Okay, I wanted to check this place out too, but oh my gosh, we don't have very much money left. General Foods Holden. Okay, time for some shopping. This place sells just about everything you can think of from luxury goods to daily necessities. I believe there's a shop that sells guns on the second floor too, but I've never visited it. Wow. 
So people say this is based on France, but it sounded a lot more like the US. No surprise there. You can't even go inside without a permit. Huh. All right, well, that's not sounding like the US either then, I guess. And that shop's called Thunders, by the way. That's where we're going next. Wait, Van has a gun permit? Feel free to wander around the other shops, though. We can pick up some medicine while we're here. Not too much, though. <laughs> we're getting dangerously close to being dead broke. You enjoy shopping with us. I'm proud of all my wares. Soul Chef. A recipe book with tips on making cookies. Golden. Acerbic tomato cookie. Absolutely necessary. And we can exchange. Thankfully, those pleasure. achievements netted us a bit more cashola. But you think bro's trying to get a deal? He seems pretty animated. Thank you for and you are the pharmacy, Lilian. We have to talk to him first. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite Spriggan. I'm looking just as grumpy as ever. <laughs> I don't think I have any medicine for that. I didn't come here to get any lip from you. Oh, you're aware of Van's work? I don't know anything in detail, but yeah. I'm from the Eastern Quarter, so I know my stuff. Hard to not be aware of the underworld when you come from a place like that. Okay, this is literally the first time anyone's ever called this eastern place by anything, actually. So that's why, like, like in my previous playthroughs, because nobody actually had a name for it, they all just call it, like, uh, the... I, well, I was taking a calling it, like, the east of Calvert or something. But the eastern quarter might end up just being, like, uh downtown or no, not downtown i can't remember what it was called but crossbell had like a chinatown type place whose name completely escapes me at the moment but the eastern quarter might actually just end up being like a quebec for this place type thing you know what i mean but don't you worry this is just an ordinary pharmacy that sells extremely ordinary products you know when he says it like that it makes me think that might not actually be the case I see you've started stocking Eastern remedies. A little pricey, but they've got their uses. Still strapped for cash, huh? You poor thing. Watch your mouth. <laughs> it's fun coming with Van and seeing him interact with other people. I learn a little more about him with every little interaction. Okay. I meant to hit this button. Does anything catch your eye? Banana granola bar. Ooh. Purifying spice. 2K and heals ailments. That's pretty nice. Calming popo uh, potpourri. I mispronounced that word in a uh, in like one of my tenth grade because I'd never I'd never seen it. I'd seen it in on paper, but I'd never actually heard anyone say it out loud. So I pronounced it Papori and somebody loudly corrected me. <laughs> My gosh. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Cartoon handkerchief. Thank you for visiting Viewable in the connect territory. and connect on the to-do list. Gift for you, May. Alright. Sure. If it's a gift for our little sister, we'll do what we need to. Okay. We hope you uh She can't wear a cotton shirt. Okay, so there's gender locked uh, equipment here, which is whatever. Um, ooh, this will give him some uh, magic evasion. Yeah, go ahead and uh, do a little bit of swappage, and this will give her more magic evasion too. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. All right, smart stragas and cute stragas. And we can only have we only have enough for one of them. We hope you enjoy shopping with us. Okay. Let's let's hang on. We await your next visit. Let's hang on to that. The door is locked. Oh yeah, this area isn't finished yet. We'll have to come back when it is. Okay, and we can still well, shop at the vending machines. Thank you for Refreshing wheat tea. Today. Well, whatever. It'll give us those Gorbe points. So, 50% apple juice? Banana Olay. Cool. 
So we'll wait. We'll wait for when we need healing before we just go ahead and start eating to our heart's content. Is that one of her students? No, she's not a. She's not wearing a uniform. See, it's that same guy. This is why I'm like this dude. This Daniel dude had better not look like a generic every other person ever type situation. You see that? That's really oh, that's really cool. The way the uh, mini map actually changes. Falcom, man, Falcom does not get their flowers enough, dude. Like, what's not to love about this giant JRPG anime soap opera? Okay, this is where we went before. What's this? Weston? It says... Oh, okay. I didn't see this place. Thunders. Okay, we walked right past it. Oh, she looks a uh, Sylvie. Okay, she looks like uh, Lloyd's friend. Hey, man. Here to get some work done on... Huh. Who's the girl? One of your clients or something? Okay, so this place, Thunders, also services... Uh, stun batons then she's actually my new assistant believe it or not it's a pleasure to meet you hey name's sylvie i'm the third generation in a family of gunsmiths gonna guess you'd never even known there was a shop like this in the department store no i knew of it i'm familiar with some people that enjoy hunting and competitive shooting but i guess this isn't the kind of shop i was expecting it's very proper if you're gonna do something, gotta do it right. This place is the perfect spot. Got lots of military folks coming by. I handle custom orders, modifying weaponry up to my customers' desired specs. Within reason, of course. Your clientele's really gotta trust you to let you tinker with their weapons like that, myself included. Don't let the name of the shop trick you. Sylvie here can modify just about any weapon. Oh, so she can upgrade our stuff, okay. You got some orbital staff parts lying around, don't you? An orbital staff user? Interesting. Nothing out of my wheelhouse, of course. Long as there's mirror on the table, I'm happy to do my job. I would really appreciate it. Okay, and of course, she would mention Mira, because, uh, who? Weapon parts and armor can be purchased from certain shops. Press L1 or R1 at the shops to sell uh, that sell equipment to cycle through character exclusive equipment. Yeah, they built that system for Reverie, and they certainly weren't about to let it go to waste. That's all we have to do at the department store. Wait, we haven't we haven't done any upgrading. Yep, but don't let that stop you if you want to go take a look elsewhere. Gifts. You can buy gifts from various shops. These gifts can be presented in the connections tab of your to-do list. You earn connection points when you present gifts. Surpass a certain number of connection points to improve a character's relationship with Van. What rewards lie in wait for doing so? Ooh. I do like... I, okay, so this is how they're implementing the uh, social link aspect that every single game... Wait, we didn't get an opportunity. I should have... Man, I should have shopped before we talked. But I didn't know they would kick us out. Ah, that must be our client. This is Van of Arkwright Solutions speaking. I managed to get in touch with Daniel. He told me he's left the house already, so he should be arriving at the Orbital store any time now. Got it. We'll keep you updated. So Daniel's on his way? Yeah, let's go get into position. Right. It suddenly feels like we're in a spy novel. No, I need to take this seriously. I have to take this chance to learn all I can about spriggan work. Okay, so complete the 4 SPG. You got a permit, yeah? Steel Edge. Ooh. Sub parts. Okay. The best leather grip that fits neatly on a hand. It'll up our arts damage. Whoa, the Mirage Turbine. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that for Vanny Boy. Cool. You better take good care of it. All right. Well. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. No. Oh, this isn't the uh, this is the department store, not the uh, not the other place. Ooh. 
Okay, so we can't just walk over there. We got to take this spot, which is fine. Okay, wait, where's the guild at? That's the thing. Didn't these? I swear these used to be labeled, but here it is. Not this way. <laughs> he's not trying. He's really not trying to go in there. Uh, that the guy in there looks extremely generic, but there's a ton of people just hanging out in the Bracer Guild. That's new. Normally, it's actually really empty in there. He, yeah, see, this guy's a bracer. That's, you can see, see all the straps and, and leather patches and stuff? Oh, these Orbola refrigerators that were new a couple of years ago, according to Laura, but are now old hat. Standby location. Let's investigate. Here we go. This seems like a good spot to keep an eye out. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but be casual. Don't go acting weird and drawing attention to us because you're nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'll do my best. Oh, could that be him? Okay, black hair, brown jacket, sure. Think so. He matches our client's description perfectly. So that's Daniel. My little cash register thief. Whoa, what are those? The Orbal, uh, like, uh, they're in, they're not in the shot anymore, but those look like super techie Orbal ovens. Um, I'm looking for the latest model of Vern's cutting edge glare series of Orbal cameras. Do you have any in stock right now? We certainly do. You're very lucky too. It's a really popular model, so it comes in out of the stock all the time. I'll bring one out right away. Lucky, yeah. Thanks. Looks like he's here to buy a camera. A very expensive one, too. That model's like 50,000 Mira. Oh, so maybe it wasn't petty theft he was engaged in then. That's grand larceny. That's a lot of money. It's the same amounts of Mira I pulled together to pay Van at first. He could buy a precious gemstone with that much Mira. I hear photography's a real Mira pit of a hobby if you're serious about it. I'd rather sink 50,000 Mira on car mods, to be honest, but that's just me. I take it he's some sort of car buff? Is it just me or is- Yeah, see? You can see them in the background there. What are those? Is it just me or is he acting a little strange? It's like he doesn't want to buy the camera to begin with. Is he being blackmailed? Okay. And he wasn't even sure what camera model he wanted in the first place. He had it written down instead. Like he's here for someone else. Oh! Somebody's making him steal then! Nah, that's bothering me too. Thought it'd be an open and shut case, but guess not. Oh, I think he's about to leave. Thank you very much for your purchase! Please come again! Let's tail him. Got it. Dang. It's almost time for the meeting. I don't want to be late. He rushed off in the direction of the department store. Something here definitely smells. Wonder what's making him rush there right now. I can think of a few possibilities, but let's just go after him for now. Yeah, let's complete this 4 SPG. And avoid this guy. He, we can't help him. But we can't help Daniel. We lost him. I mean, he's 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 just a regular looking dude. Of course we lost him. He's definitely in here somewhere though. Yeah. Didn't look like he noticed we were tailing him either. So I doubt he ran away. Let's just look around and see if we can find him. Right. I mean, we could look around, but something that I really like about uh, Trails games is they just give you the answer. 
Huh, like, I'm like a certain other series I could name, Xenoblade. All right. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Don't worry, you're right on time. Found him. That's his voice, all right. So, how did it go? I bought it, no problem. This is the correct camera, right? Yes, it certainly is. Thank you for going out of your way to purchase it. As agreed, I will no longer be pressing charges about what happened. Really? I'm sure whatever it is is bogus. Oh, what a relief! Thank you so much! I wonder if this is the reason he stole that money from the cash register. Only commit one crime at a time, people. Sure looks like it. Something seems real fishy about all of this. Sorry to rain on your parade, but you mind putting this deal on hold for a sec? <gasps> What's going on here? We're from Arkwright Solutions Office. We work here in the capital. We were hired to investigate you, Daniel. What? Wait, did Lot hire you? Hmm. Don't worry. We're not here to stop you guys or anything. Oh! I guess we will just let him get extorted if it if we need to. We just want you to tell us a little about what's happening here. What's the story? I know it's a lot to ask, but we need something to report back to our client. It's our job, after all. And if you don't want him to know the full truth, we can help you out there, too. So, this is... Okay, it is going to be that second situation. We're going to... I guess we're going to have a lot of freedom in how we actually handle this. Damn it. Everything was going so well, too. Maybe those, uh... Maybe those red arrows were showing us the possible alignment changes that could occur from a result of this request, rather than the changes to our alignment that would happen. But maybe instead of guessing at it, I should actually just let this play out so I can find out. But I guess it can't hurt to tell you since you're willing to keep this all a secret. He's just taking us at our word for it. I don't want to cause you any more trouble, so do you mind if I do the talking? Very well. I can see we aren't getting out of this without telling the truth, so if you would. Well, this is all my fault, really. Two days ago, I was riding my bike to work, as always. But the road I usually take was really busy, so I decided to take the next one over instead. Just as I was exiting it, though, I rode right into this man here. Fortunately, he wasn't badly harmed, but his camera was totally ruined. So you got into an accident? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a lot less wild than I was expecting. He's not even, he's not even in the wrong, he is, he... He is on the hook for that. That is 100% his fault. And replacing it is the right thing to do. <sighs> Basically, yeah. I'm lucky it was this man and not someone else, though. He said ordinarily he'd be well within his rights to turn me over to the police and sue me for damages. But he was willing to let bygones be bygones as long as I compensated him for the camera. I... I didn't have any money, so getting sued would cause a lot of trouble for both me and my family. So I did whatever I could to claw it together with the intention of paying it back later. Then you used that money to buy a new one? I see. I think I know what's going on now. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't like being treated like some kind of criminal just for being a decent human being. Okay, the peaceful man thing was not just like an assumption, I guess. Still, you mind if I check just one thing? Oh! The peaceful man's probably gonna turn out to be a scammer. What do you mean? Can you show me the broken camera that started all this? Why would he still have it? What would that achieve? It's the exact same model that young Daniel here purchased. Of that, I'm certain. I gave him a note with the exact model name on it, so I'm certain he bought the right one. Oh, I don't doubt that. But you could be lying about which model was broken in the first place. The only way we can be sure this is all fair and above board is to see it. What do you mean? He means that dude saw an opportunity and took it. Oh! You're saying he could be taking advantage of this to make Daniel buy him a more expensive camera than the one that he damaged? So that's why we need to check that they're the same. 
Well, actually, because especially if it's an expensive camera or even like a middlingly priced camera, you do hang on to it because, I mean, you can repurpose the parts and bulbs and stuff like that. So in this situation, it would make a lot of sense that he still had that camera on him. I can't believe that's true. I wrote into him out of nowhere. He wouldn't have had time to come up with a lie like that. You're naive, kid. Ever heard of a mock-up? It's a product replica that's equipped with just the bare minimum functions so you can test how it feels to use. There's a few scammers going around using those to get people to buy them the real thing. Like his compensation for an accident they deliberately caused by running into their victim, for example. Wait, you're not suggesting... That's quite an accusation you're making there. I don't have a habit of carrying around broken items, so I'm afraid I can't prove anything right now. Besides, you've got nothing to do with any of this. You've no right to order me around. I ain't ordering you around. But I can't just sit back and let this poor guy get swindled out a lot of mirror just because he didn't know any better. Nothing wrong with opening his eyes up a little. Uh, um... I realize how inappropriate this is coming from me since the accident was my fault and everything. But would it be possible to see the broken camera after all? Later, I mean. Doesn't have to be now. And give him time to cook something up? <sighs> what basis do you have for trying to pin this on me? I can see that giving you a chance to settle this out of the courts was a mistake. I do realize just how rude we must sound to you. We just want a reason to believe your story. Please, won't you give us one? Why? I'm the victim here! Why am I supposed to be doing the legwork here? <sighs> Alright. If being nice won't do it, I guess it's time to shift gears a little. If you give up on the camera and leave this guy alone, we'll let you go. But you won't be so lucky if you try and pull this shit again. You tell him, Van! <sighs> <laughs> I would have gotten away with it if you hadn't come along, asshole. Oh, what a joke this is. I've had enough. Here, here you go. Take your damn camera. The man returned the camera to Daniel. What? <sighs> man, what a shit show. You two better watch it. If I come across this solutions office of yours again... I'm going to put you in your damn place. I'll show you exactly what I mean if I ever have the displeasure of seeing you again. Well, he really was unpleasant. That it really was just a setup? Sure was. Van is so distrusting, but he's also very cool. It was like he turned into a whole different person. It took me by surprise. Still, this is the best outcome for you, isn't it? Now you don't need to give away the camera after all. Just so you know, we know you took money from the cash register at your job to buy it. You only just bought this thing, so I'm sure the shop will let you return it. If that's what you want to do, at least. <sighs> it's like I'm dreaming. I was going to return the money as soon as I could. And now we can do that almost immediately. I didn't even want to take it in the first place. Guess I have the option of just refunding the camera and returning it ASAP. I think that's the best course of action. How are you planning to put it back? That's a good question. Well, the way I see it, you've got two options here. You can explain what happened to your boss and return the mirror in person, which is the law choice. I can't guarantee you're not going to get fired on the spot, but you can at least square up about it. Oh no, that's definitely, that's an instant termination. Like, there's no, there's, unless he's like, unless he's basically like the adopted son of these people, there is no reason they wouldn't terminate him. So, what you did wasn't right, but you were being exploited by a criminal. Hopefully they'll go easy on you if they know, uh, if they know that. No, there's no reason for them to do that. He should be fired. <laughs> he should absolutely be fired. He's already proven how like, trustworthy he is to the tune of 50 grand. Uh, your other options to slip the money back without telling anyone, which might just hurt his reputation with Lot or something. 
Sounds like your friend's already covering for you, so I doubt any discrepancy in their numbers is gonna get traced right back to you. You'll get to keep your job and everything, but no promises your conscience will be clean after the fact. Personally, I feel like it'd be best if you owned up to your mistake. Of course she's gonna be the law heroine. What do you think I should do? What do I think? Well... What would I do in his position? Uh... <laughs> so, I was right. This choice here, we were being shown the two possible uh, alignment changes that could happen here. And... I wonder how easy it's going to be to stay gray if we pick the gray option. I don't think you need to make a mountain out of a molehill over a small lapse of judgment, as long as you make it right. Especially if it could end up costing you your job or tarnishing your reputation. Honesty ain't always the best policy. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Then... Yeah. Sorry, but I'm going to return the money and stay quiet about the whole thing. I'll consider myself fortunate and take this as a learning experience, as most people would. You do you, man. It's your life to take or screw up. By the way, I'm not wrong in assuming Lot was the one who hired you two? Um, yes, that would be right. He happened to see you taking that money from the cash register and was worried about you. Damn it. I had a feeling he'd seen me doing it. Are you guys okay with me paying you instead of him? As long as you run things by him, sure. Yo, and no stolen Mira either. That goes without saying. <laughs> I didn't cover the full amount with stolen Mira anyway. 20,000 came from my own pocket. I'll still have that left even after I return what I stole. You mean, we'll still have that left. Glad to hear it. Wire the money when you're set, then. Will do. And I'll go and apologize to Lot about the whole thing, too. I also need to thank him for hiring you. Otherwise, he'd have been screwed. You really saved me today. Thank you so much. All in a day's work. All right. Your deposit confirmed. 1,500? All right, well, whatever. Okay, so we do get both. But we get more gray alignment because of what we told him to do. Alignment choices. Certain options within the game will greatly affect Van's LGC alignment. Depending on your choices, the law gray chaos alignment could greatly increase. We're done with Station Street now. Well, save for looking at the bulletin board. It's on the right hand side of the station's main entrance. Come on. Got it! So let's also actually do the connections thing. How do we get to that? Status? No. Uh. Cool. And hers has changed. Um. No. Interesting. Connect. Here we go. Okay. List of people involved. Why does Van have a connection level? What? Can't we give... Okay, so this is... So we're connected to them. Food record, meals, snacks, sweets, drinks. Ooh. But I <laughs> Ooh, I'm not about to read all that. Uh Right. Okay. Um No, that's how we fast travel. Here we go. Okay. Cartoon handkerchief. Thank you, Van. Only 10 points. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. 
So ten or nine more of those, and it'll be smooth sailing. And it's also, we're going to want to keep our eyes on the uh, things so we can get more connection items. Where do we... Okay, that's where we're headed. I do like the, the alignment is actually extremely cool. Like, I doubt this... Uh, it feels... Okay, because right for a long time now, it's been like every time I play the uh, Trails game, I'm like, okay, well, what have they... Because... I feel like in the grand in the grand scheme of JRPGs, at the very tip top, you've got Final Fantasy, which I'm actually not a fan of. Um, then you've got Persona just below that, and then you've actually got. Um, but then below that, you've got somewhere deep below that, you've got Trails games. So it always feels like Falcom is looking at what the other people are doing and like implementing that too, which is good. Alignments are fun. Right. I've, I like them very much in Shin Megami Tensei games. Uh, attache case delivery. I need a package delivered to 13i. Just to be clear, it's possible others may try to get in your way. So be extremely cautious. I'll be waiting at the banks located on platform one of Central Station. It's anonymous. Ooh. Huh. That's a transportation job. That's odd do you get these kinds of requests often nah courier is a job all on its own and i'm not one and this is pretty rare there must be a special reason they're asking me right well whatever makes for a perfect trial let's book it to central station okay and then when we get there we'll be able to find out this one is probably going to up gray and chaos just to give us a nice little uh looky poo into how those kinds of requests are where is oh dang we went the complete wrong direction so what's bro got going on for us here then you looking very incon it's not him actually it's you maybe no this is where we're picking up that case for the courier job Right. The job description mentioned that other people might try to stop us from seeing the job through, too. We should be paying careful attention to our surroundings, then. Right on. Now let's go in. Um, I'm sorry, but something is still bothering me about this job. Everything about it seems so suspicious. Are you really taking the job? Uh, um, yes, he told you. You gotta leave your scruples at the door if you want to be his assistant. And what do the number and letter in the job description even mean? 13i? I assumed that was an apartment number. Don't worry about the number, but the I is the recipient's initial. I know who it is, and I trust them. Really? Never met him in person, of course, but they got quite the rep in the criminal world as a goody two-shoes. Ha! Huh. They've got a reputation in the criminal world as a goody two shoes, and I don't I don't immediately know any characters whose names begin with I. So this is somebody new, whose identity I'm sure will be revealed soon enough. But that case isn't gonna have bombs or drugs or anything super shady, so don't worry about that. Our job's just making sure it gets to its destination safely. All right, if you're that certain about this, I will say no more. We should head on inside then. Attaché delivery case. All right. And yes, just like I thought, this gives us uh, gray and chaos points. Or... Okay. So, I always go neutral, except in Shin Megami Tensei 4, which was extremely obnoxious about it. So, I'll be doing my best to stay as gray as possible. Central Station. It's been ages, but it's just as massive in person as I remember it. That's the biggest station in the capital for you. Let's see. We're supposed to grab the goods from the man sitting on the bench at track one. Track one would be on the left side of the station. Shall we get moving? Hmm. Interesting. You the guy in the request? We're Arkwright Solutions. We'll take the goods from here. Who might be the young uh, who might the young lady be? My new assistant. She's still in training, but you can trust her. 
pleased to meet you. Very well. It's in the case. And just like that, he's gone. Oh, there's something under the bench. Huh. So I take it this was meant for us? Van and Agnes grabbed the attaché case and the accompanying note. An attaché case and a note? This definitely doesn't reek of a shady deal. Cool. We got what we came for. Time to get out of here. It'd be a serious pain in the ass if our buddies decided to drop by. Good point. Let's be on our way. So... Our buddies being the uh, malefactors, then. Well, honestly, we're the we're the ones who are uh, aiding and abetting in borderline criminal activity. So, we're the malefactors. Basically, they might be just ones on the side of good. Is that? It's this freaking guy. <clears throat> Can I have a minute, you two? What have you got there? <laughs> Oh, look who it is. You're the guy who was with that inspector the other day. This guy has a name. It's Nate. Not like I care if you remember it or not. Wait, you were the ones who sent that reporter on us, weren't you? Right. <laughs> that was very funny. She ended up causing a huge commotion in the station because she wouldn't leave us alone. Damn, sounds rough, buddy. <laughs> not sure what it's got to do with me, though. Ugh. You really know how to rub someone the wrong way. You said your name was Agnes, right? I'd stay away from shady characters like him if I was you. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine. I'm currently working for him as a part-time employee, actually. Whoa, what? Now that's something you should really reconsider. If there's something you need to talk to somebody about, I can totally listen. Look, man, I don't care if you're looking for a hookup, but don't do it in broad daylight. <laughs> Giving him a real hard time. We're busy people, you know. What? Wait, I'm not finished with you yet. I don't care about you. I care about that case you have there. Why? Am I breaking some sort of law I don't know of? In case you didn't know, train stations are ideal targets for criminals. Whether it's stealing, groping, or some kind of shady deal, crimes are way easier to commit with a lot of people around. So if I see a shady character like you walking out with a suspicious looking briefcase, that's a double whammy of dubiousness. That's too suspicious to let, uh, just let you go like that. Um... That sounds more like you're relying on instinct than any concrete evidence. No, Agnes, call it what it is. He's profiling us. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's very fair to treat people like suspected criminals without good reason. I'm not suspecting you of anything, Agnes. This guy here's the problem. Now hurry up and show me what's in that case. You'll be free to go after that. As long as there's nothing illegal, of course. Bro's way out of line. Um, maybe this place is more like the U.S. than I thought. You know, I can just decline to have in my private property searched, yeah? You tell him, Van. You know your friggin' rights. I don't gotta show you anything if I don't wanna. If you're really dying to see what I got here, you're gonna need a search warrant. We'll talk then. The nerve of you! I swear! The nerve... <laughs> the nerve of him to evade your abuse? Your brutality? Now I'm even more curious what you've got in that thing. He is really not making this easy for us, is he? <sighs> Fine. Just because it's you, I'll do you a solid and tell you what's in it. Bunch of crossbell hotshots. The Randy's favorite magazine? We got a client who wanted a huge chunk of their back catalog imported. Um... What's a hot shot? Don't you worry about it, Agnes. <sighs> Do I really have to explain it? You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm guessing it's some sort of magazine featuring pictures of women. 
Not like I would know. I've never seen or read them. I see. Not gonna lie, I'd much rather not go broadcasting my client's fetishes to the cops. But if you really insist, fine. You can look as much as you want. Don't worry, we'll gladly keep guard while you're enjoying yourself. We've got no choice, huh? We can't risk him running off with them. Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it! Aw, oh, no need to be shy. Hell, I can even get some extras next time we import a batch, just for you. Fine, fine! Just stop talking before you make Agnes think I'm some kind of pervert! Okay, okay. I admit it. You're right. I don't have any hard evidence to suspect you of anything. I'm not sure if there's actually magazines in that thing, but let's just say I believe you for now and let you go. You sure? What makes things easier on us if you did? <laughs> just so we're clear, I'm not doing this for you. It's for Agnes's sake and my honor. Right. He doesn't want to <laughs> he doesn't want to appear weirdly eager about that in front of her, I guess. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll get going then. <sighs> that Arkwright Solutions guy's not to be trusted. I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. Though I wish I could trust Agnes's judgment here. It's kind of interesting. I guess Detective Nate hasn't been around for that long. Or maybe Van just hasn't had as much police trouble as his history would as his history is making me think he has, because this is the this this scene right here and the scene back there. This is the start of these guys' enmity. Clearly they have had they they've had no or basically no interaction before the start of the game. Whew! We're finally away from him. Yeah, dude caught me off guard there. I don't know if he's got great instincts or if that was just some dumb luck. Just to be sure, the case isn't actually full of men's magazines, right? I mean, if it was, would that make you stop doing the case? It doesn't really... what's it matter? Of course not. No one's gonna go through all this trouble for something like that. We got sidetracked enough. Let's get back to getting this thing to the drop-off point. Okay. Let me check the note again, just to be sure. So if I is the initial of the person who gave us this request, then we still don't know what 13 means. The drop-off point is on the north side of the Riverside District. Must be at the end of the path on the left of the temple. There's a temple here? All right, let's get going and keep your eyes peeled for trouble. Understood. We thankfully managed to avoid getting searched by Nate, but I can't deny I'm rather curious myself about what's in the case. Hmm. I wonder, are we going to, are we going to be in Agnes's shoes when it comes time to do the do? Oh. All right, so Riverside is where we need to head up. Let's do this. Shard skill activation raid. Shard skills have a percentage chance of activating. However, when a shard skill is activated, the percentage rises. A full boost means many skills will have a 100% chance of activation. So full boosting is basically super good. Well, here's Riverside, the 6th district. Don't imagine you've been by here often. Aside from the one time we brought her here ourselves, I wonder if we can hit up Bermati. I've rarely had the need to, so no, I haven't. Although I've had it, I've heard it's a popular after-class spot for students. Oh yeah, place is mighty pretty and got a wide variety of shops and stalls. A date here scores a 10 out of 10 when it comes to the view. Fun doesn't stop when the sun goes down either, what with the concert hall and all the bars around. You must frequent this place quite a lot since you know so much. I didn't have much time to look around last time we came here. Work hard, or work hard, and we might be able to get uh, get to see the sights for a bit. Well, where'd you next? Hmm. Let's see what we've got. Notes and requests. Okay. 
There's no four SPGs there. Blue score, which... Investigate, all right, so... That looks like a that looks like it's some kind of concert hall, so I'm sure we'll be going there multiple times, just not right now. Okay, and we can hit up. We can see Bermati through the glass. I don't know why, but there's something extremely impressive about that. Well, if it isn't it's like, Van. There's <laughs> it's really rare actually. Hello there, Van dear. You too, Anyas. It's wonderful seeing you two together again. Yeah, long story short, I guess I hired myself a new assistant. Figured we'd drop by for a proper greeting. Once again, it's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's all mine, darling. How's your first day on the job treating you? I'm sure it's going to be hard work. But if you need to relax after a hard day of work, you're always welcome here. Thank you very much. Oh, you might have guessed already since you're here, but I'm also open throughout the day, too. Feel free to drop by for lunch if you'd like. Sounds good. We might drop by for that. And some info. Plus, if he's got anything that'll net us some gourmet points... I'll take your order. Yes, he does. Peppery potato salad. And give us all the goods. Aww, you're leaving already? Yes, sir. We can't change... Okay, we can't do a sound test from the jukebox. Aw. I really, like... The only game that immediately comes to mind you can do that from is... You can do that in Catherine, and you can also do that... I believe there's a bar in Crossbell that allows you to change just the music in there from it. But still. It is very... Uh... Aedetic? No, that's memory. Aegetic, I believe that is? Diegetic is the word that I'm thinking of. Uh, here it is. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, wow. These guys look like bad news. Finally found you, buddy. You the smuggler? Just keep calm and hands over the case. That way no one gets hurt, yeah? Better do what we say or the little miss here is going to get it. it. Would be a shame if she ends up in a hospital. They're just gonna fight us in broad daylight, but that dude spiked bat is bloody. I guess you finally showed yourselves, huh? Nothing personal, y'all. Just doing my job here. But how about we take care of business elsewhere? A little cramped here for a beatdown. Hope you're ready on yes. Yes, I'm ready whenever. The hell's up with you, cocky bastard? You're gonna regret giving us lip. All right, well. You're in for now. I'll beat your ass. Oh, they move first? Counter. My move now. So that's the first time we've done that, and there's no tutorial associated with it. I'll smash you. Um. So that's us. Keep it up. It's working. Well, let's use our new. Shadow Spear. Just try and take me. Combo Strike. He can attack us from all the way over there? Ooh. So this... Okay. Let's get him. Get some. Okay. Let's take a look at our... Um, well, let's wait on the CP totals. He's still within our range. Uh, she's gonna have to white heal, not gonna lie. Another combo strike. Oh, crap. Okay, uh... Let's bring her back with our singular reviving balm. I'm gonna need to buy another one. 
Oh, we probably have food that restores stuff too. And that's my battery level low. That's fine. Uh. You make me sick. Uh. Res up. Going all in. Let's heal Van this way. Love me a sugar rush. Plus 130. Nice. Uh. He's got 13,000. Right. Keep it up. It's working. And we're almost. I guess we're gonna have to you use the tag. <laughs> Spark rod. Can Do we have to Okay, cool. Have some more. They're stunned. Nice. And he still got he still got a lot. So let's go ahead and give this guy some Yeah. Brace yourself. Go ahead and get some. Son of a Yes. And we got another reviving bomb, thank Adios. <sighs> we lost? Man, we didn't even stand a chance. I got time to kill if you two were up for a round two, you know. Hate sounding just like you two punks, but I'll definitely be sending you to the hospital if you keep this up. Damn it! We'd be in for some big mirror if we could just grab the goods! Screw it. It ain't worth it, man. Let's just scram. Well, at least the package is still safe. That should hopefully be it. Yeah, looks like it. Wasn't sure who we'd come across, but I guess I was worrying over nothing. Wouldn't say nothing. You're just too strong. Uh-oh, who's this? So, oh, wait, purple-haired woman. No, she looks like a scientist. Those two actually have quite the reputation for knowing how to put up a fight. Hope you enjoyed the show, at least. Oh, huh. First time we meet face to face. Is this I? You know her? Dr. Isabel. A pleasure. I'm Isabel, and I'm the client who posted your request. Figured I should at least pick up the goods in person. Even if it mean, uh, meant digging myself out of my dark and comfortable hole and coming out into the sun for a while. Okay then, here's your stuff. I wonder how she compares to Dr. Sayland. Yep, this is it. Good work. This should be just what my patient needs. Patient? You mean there's medicine there? That's what I mean, yeah. Why is this giving us chaos points then? You can probably tell, but I'm a doctor. Not the regular kind though. Think more back alley. Okay, well, my question got immediately answered. I take all kinds of jobs as long as the mirror of the client and the mood is right. My current patient's a kid with an incurable disease. It's rare to see it in the Republic. Needed some medication for it that was only recently approved in Remiferia. Foreign medication, then? It wouldn't have been approved in the Republic yet, then, if it's still new even in Remiferia. Okay, so she's given this guy stuff the FDA hasn't gotten its hands on, then, so to speak. Still technically illegal, so you gotta handle it on the down low. And since I guess a particular someone was busy, you put in the request for us to handle it. That particular someone no doubt being Elaine, though... Would Bracers have taken on this job if it wasn't legal? Quick on the uptake as ever. I appreciate that. Getting this medication all the way from Remiferia is a real hassle, let me tell you. At least funding's not really an issue here, since the kid's parents are rich. I see. But you sprung a leak somewhere, yeah? And that's how those two knew about it. Probably wanted to hold the meds hostage so they could fleece the parents for a good chunk of Mira. 
You definitely need to run a tighter ship if you don't want the whole world to know what you're up to. <laughs> Harsh, but true. I can see that, especially after this. But no wonder she's got a squeaky clean reputation on the criminal underworld if this is the kind of stuff she's using the underworld for. If you don't mind, the, uh, if you don't mind then, I'll be getting back to my patient. And don't worry about the payment. I'll be sure to get it to you. Let's hope we can meet again, you two. Later. No choices? So we'll just get a flat boost to our uh, gray and chaos points then. Isabelle's a black market doctor then. She looks like she's quite reasonable still. Yeah, she is. It was nice getting to meet her. Alright, let's get going. Of course. Well done on this job, Van. I wonder where Isabel treats her patients. She said something about a dark hole, right? Odd. They also talked about a certain someone. Wonder who that could be. There's so much I still don't know. Feels like I'm just scratching the surface. We really are. Oh, a day's work. Quest attaché case delivery completed. Mira deposit confirmed. We got the same amount of money out of that? All right, plus uh, gray and plus chaos. So far, we're still st we're still flatly gray. We have as much gray points, chaos points. Like, you have as more gray points, but chaos and law are still equal. Okay, I think it's about time we clock out. Good work today. That was more difficult than I expected. Though, wasn't it a bit early? I don't mind putting in a few more hours. My girl, it's your first day. No need to go so hard right off the bat. But if you've got some spare hours, we can hit up the Orbital Cafe in front of the station. What do you say? I'll even treat you. Think of it as a sign-on bonus. Oh, really? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You've more than earned it. And I can tell you're gonna be a great asset. Man, I can almost taste the cream on that new latte already. I'm gonna die and go to dessert heaven. He just wants to go so he can indulge himself in sweets, doesn't he? <laughs> Figures. <laughs> well, I'm ready to go when you are. So let's... Uh oh. I do want to save just really quickly. But I want to keep at it. We're fully locked in. Uh, the Orbital Cafe. Okay, because I'm like, is he talking about here? I'll get the uh, thing of a Bob's down at some point. There we go. And we can go right to the Orbital Cafe. Hmm. They've got the good stuff here in every sense of the word. Well, I guess I'm still I'm still not clear on why I guess to make it easier, but it's still so strange that drivers, quartz, and plugins all basically used to be the same thing, but have been split. Man, all that builds up and then they're out of stuff to make the lattes with. What a letdown. At least the coffee was good. I guess. Maybe I'll mosey by this evening and see if they've restocked. Ooh! We, and we still need to get that sweet muffin stuff from Raymond, I think his name was? Definitely not going to hang around this neck of the woods if I don't have to. He really doesn't like bracers, even though he is basically himself a bracer. So your distaste of the guild even trumps your love of sweets? Or maybe this is more about one specific bracer. Yeah, the one with a really nice voice. Why are you staring at me like that? Hey there, working hard or hardly working? Who's this? Huh? Oh, Zine! He showed up a lot sooner than I was expecting him to. Okay, and there's one thing, because there was one thing I was thinking about between this episode and the next, but it'll depend on who Zine's, uh, we'll, we'll hear it as soon as we hear it, because I'm sure it'll be the thing, but as soon as we hear it. Ugh, you again. Van and the girl from before. Oh, hello, Elaine. Ah, should have bolted when we had the chance. 
So you're the kid Elaine grew up with, huh? No friggin' way, dude! What was wrong with Patrick Sates? Nice to meet you. I'm... Why is his voice different? Zine the Immovable. One of the guild's go-to guys. That's literally what, what, what I was going to comment on. I was going to I was gonna praise uh, praise the game for basically... Because Patrick Sates was Zine's VA in the very first Trails game that ever got released in English. And I was going to be like, isn't it so cool that Patrick Sates has been with the series from the first entrance, uh, entry to the most recent one to release in English? I think... I'm pretty sure Japan is two games ahead of us at the moment. But why is he replaced? He's still active. What? Was he too ex was he too expensive or something? A master level Taito practitioner and A rank bracer. Though some folks say you should be S rank by now. You know your stuff. Why? Why does he have a new voice? Zine Vathek. I'm Jin Vatek. Don't think I'm quite the figure you make me out to be, though. Whoa, that is not how I pronounce his name. But Patrick, look at him. He sounds about 30 years younger than he looks. What, he said he's Zine Vatek? It's nice to finally meet you, Spriggan. Sounds like we owe you for the other day. No friggin' way, bro. And I'm not saying his new VA is bad or anything, but he's way too young sounding. And what's wrong with Patrick Sades? Don't sweat it, or don't sweat it. Not about to pass up the chance to put you guys in my debt. Name's Van Arkride. Would have rather not met you, but here we are. That's so. Huh. Well, it's nice to meet you all the same. They did him so nice with the clothes, though. Because Zine, he was dressed very Eastern in all of his previous appearances, like 10 years ago. But he's got the, he's got that real, he's got that slick modern flair everybody else has now. He's, he's so cool. Why are you being so friendly to him? Jeez, bro, calm down. This guy's been stealing our jobs and doing shady stuff for years. I mean... If you're that upset about it, a lot of people have been muscling in on Bracer territory for quite a while. To be honest, we probably have reasonable grounds to apprehend him. Calm down! You can try it if you like. No, I'm kidding, no, because <laughs> they would def they would definitely uh they, it would be a, a raffle stomp instantly. I know people don't say that anymore, but that's what it would be. Uh, can't argue there. <sighs> that's so like you to say. <laughs> Elaine! Jin, we have nothing to gain by associating with this man. Jin, okay. Come what may, he will expertly skirt the line of legality and our code to avoid incriminating himself. Yeah, see, she knows the score. We need not interact with him more than the bare minimum necessary to do our duties, as we did the other day. Mm, I feel like she's covertly diffusing the situation. See? She gets me. Be quiet, Van. <laughs> she's like, she's like, <laughs> yes, ma'am. She's like, shut up and let me help you. Wow. I thought as much. Yeah, she's got him wrapped around her little finger. But that's cool. That that that's definitely the kind of woman Van needs in his life. <laughs> Isn't that something? You've got a Zypha, right? Yeah, see, and this is what the covers, this is what changing the covers probably amounts to. Like, in this scene, if pff, somehow we were able to change Zine's Zypha cover, it would show up here. And I'm sure there's also costume equipment, but I never, like, you see those videos of, and I, I've commented on this before, but you see those videos of people like, especially Tales games are so crazy with this. They'll dress them up in all these goofy uh, goofy outfits, and then the characters will look like complete clowns in cutscenes. I never do that. I completely, I don't ever interact with the costume uh, jewelry or costume stuff, and especially on my first playthrough. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. What's it to you? He's being... Contact information exchanged with the Calvert Bracer Guild. Commissions received. Wait, commissions? They're They're paying him? Wait, what? Zine is such a good guy! 
Are you sure this is wise? You can't be serious! See, we just got in a few big jobs. But Elaine and I are going to be out of town for a few days. You wouldn't mind helping us out a bit, would you? I don't see the harm in letting you take care of some simple jobs like monster exterminations. Well, that and some are a little too gray for us, if you catch my meaning. That's why, okay, because I'm like, did they just change it from Law and Nukesal Chaos so it's not as, uh, it's not as we lifted this directly from SMT? Not that they invented it, but in the JRPG space, alignments are very much an SMT thing. But it works better in the context, it's more flavorful in the context of the story. So, I thought, I thought Grey was a little goofy before now, but Zin, or Jin, it's gonna be... Well, I don't think it'll take me that long to get used to, but it's just crazy how crazy this, his name, so fun, okay, <laughs> another wild tangent, but when I first, when, when, when Jin first showed up, this was actually before his name was changed back in the very first episode, the episode that I meet him in, his name is still Zayn Vatek, actually, and then the very, like, my game updated, and then the very next one, it was Jen. So the very first time I meet him, I'm calling this man Zane because that's his localized name was still the was still the one. But that was that was forever ago. Oh my gosh. Mm. Hold on. I guess looks can be deceiving, huh? You're built like a bear, but sly as a fox. All right, I'll take your jobs for 20% more than your going rate. But if they ain't my style, I'm not doing it. That work for you? <laughs> sure does. You can look over the two I just sent you, but I don't think there should be an issue with either. I'd like you to take care of at least one of them. It's in a place you've got a bit of a connection to now, where Giacomo got got. Oh, <laughs> well, whatever. I'll look at him later. This isn't a good idea! We can't trust a shady character like this guy with our work! I understand your reservations, but with as much work as we have piling up, now's not the time to get picky about help. Right, and I'm sure with everything that he's been through, Jin is definitely very, very familiar with asking shady people to do stuff for the, do stuff for the uh, people on the side of the angels. He's worked with a bunch of serial killers, you know. I'll handle the reports and getting this approved. That okay with you, Elaine? <sighs> so be it. Well, we've got a train to catch. See you two around. Alvis and I will go buy the tickets. So if you want to say anything to this guy, make it quick. His name is Alvis. Okay. What do you... So, because Zine's, Zine's emotional intelligence is so high, after seeing all that stuff between Estelle and Joshua, and all the stuff between him and Kilika, uh, and what's his name? Uh, I forget, Walter. After seeing all that stuff between all three of them, I'm sure he clocked what's going on with these guys instantly. <sighs> He's probably, Alvis probably has something of a crush on Elaine. <sighs> Unbelievable. I see you're just as popular with your seniors as ever. Too bad only men fall for it. My charms work on the ladies too, you know. Might have met my max with that guy though. Jin's gonna be a tougher cookie than I thought. I finally see how we can go toe to toe with that freak of nature. Hmm? No, never mind. I don't have time to dig into that right now. Just so you know, A's been silent since what happened. It'll be a while until we learn anything more. Okay, so the characters are telling us Almada has exited the narrative for the time being. Figures. <sighs> so you're a client of his, correct? On yes, was it? Yes, that's right. I really appreciate your help the other day, too. I appreciate the sentiment, but I didn't contribute much, really. What are you uh, What are you doing out and about with him today, though? Given that you're not wearing your uniform, is your request not over yet? Well, or, well, um, that is part of it, yes. But I'm also working part-time at Arkwright Solutions now. Today is my first day on the job. 
She's about to get mad at Van for roping her into that. Explain yourself. Now. Hey, I tried to turn her down. I'm telling you, she's craftier than she looks. Sure, there's some other stuff going on, but... No stuff could excuse this. What are you thinking? She's a civilian. What would you do if she got... Elaine. The train's leaving in a minute. Oh, that's Alvis. Why are we still calling him Manning Jacket when we know his name? Wait, did he just say Elaine? Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, wait. No, that is Alvis. What? The Elaine? No way! Well, this conversation is not over, for the record. Don't think you can avoid me forever. Agnes, please, please be careful. You better keep her safe. Join our party, Elaine! Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't sweat it, but we need to go. Um... <sighs> Something tells me she's gonna keep hounding me for answers till she gets one. Now, how am I gonna shake her off next time? So... I take it you two are close? That's a generous way to put it. We just go way back is all. Even though we've both been in the capital for a while, I haven't seen her for three years till just recently. Which is really insane to think about. How does that even happen? I see. But you seem so... <sighs> Never mind. Huh? Well, anyway, could have gone without meeting the big guy, to be honest. I mean, who'd have guessed Jin the Immovable of all people would be dumping work on us? I, I was not expecting him to show up so soon. I know what you mean. Even people outside of Calvert would recognize his name. Did you look at the jobs he sent your Zypha yet? Not yet. <sighs> Guess I ought to look. Oh! So that's their game. Underground fumigation. Information's come forth that a dangerous monster, a hundred eyed drome, has appeared deep within the second section of the underground maintenance tunnel. Please put this beast down for us in the guild's place. Okay, killing giant dromes in sections of an underground? Definitely something we've done before as well. Underground fumigation. The brave little wallet. Someone stole my wallet. I'd like to get it back, but it's been sold on the black market. How does she know that? Could you help me out? I'll explain the details in person. I'll be waiting at the Orbal Cafe. One of them sounds like my usual kind of thing. As for the other, the cops took so long investigating Giacomo that a monster moseyed in, eh? So it seems... Handy that both of them are close to the areas we were already planning to cover. None of this was on the docket, though. You're cool to call it a day and head back to the office. I'd like to keep helping if you'll have me. This is my first day on the job, after all. Huh. Then I guess we ought to get back to work. I wonder, we probably can't directly fast... We can't, uh... Can we... So that's her. And these are the underground ruins. So one of the requests. Yeah. Then let's head over. Because what? Side attacks and back attacks. Crafts with side attack or back attack bonus have a 30% increase in power when you attack from that direction. But, okay, because what I mainly want to do is why'd they replace his VA, especially with. I guess it'd be one thing if, for whatever reason, the extremely prolific VA Patrick Sates couldn't come back. But it's another thing for the guy to... Because at least when they replaced Laura's original VA because of COVID restrictions, they got someone who was, who was definitely doing her best to sound like Laura's old VA. The guy's not even trying. I didn't think we'll be coming back here so soon. The wanted monster is in an area beyond that crime scene, right? Beyond the crime scene. 
Yeah, but now that we're here, there was something I forgot to tell you last time. So there's more to the battle system. So, we're going to the charging station nearby first. And we can cook there too. Alright! I do want to try that out a little bit. Sir. Wait, oh, I keep okay. Like I said, they uh they're like the items are heat seeking in the previous games. We haven't had to actually pick them up. I don't think since like Cold Steel 2 or something. There's an orbit charging station. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Hell yeah, it will. Be sure to recharge your EP and take a rest there if you need help uh, if you need to before we keep going. Keep it in mind in case you're ever in a pinch. That's the best place to fall back to. I should also mention that you can customize your orbit in some charging stations. Something else to keep in mind while you're out in the field. Understood. And I think that's everything I had to say. First half of our route is secure already, so let's get going. Dungeon checkpoint. Charging stations are registered in the travel menu upon being discovered. Ooh. Recover HP and EP. There's also high grade charging stations. Neat. Midpoint was added. The door back there is still open. I wonder why. Probably so the cops can come and go as they please. Ah, fair enough. All right. So let's use the device. Rest, recovery plus reset monsters. Whew, that hits the spot. So we can we can recover or we can heal in order to keep the grinding up, I guess. I'm on it. Uh and we can fast travel. Midpoint. Canceling actions via impede. See, by using now that's it's hilarious because they don't they don't actually explain what impeding you in Cold Steel 1 <laughs> in Cold Steel 1 you get a mission where your whole like a, you have to impede an enemy but the game doesn't tell you what impeding is so I act, I actually managed to clear that one completely by accident Our by just it's just beyond this door. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> By just, I was just doing random stuff. Man, it's been, it's crazy to think about. At one point, I had no idea what impeding was. But now that's old hat, because that was like 10,000 hours ago. Okay. We can't just jump down? Hmm. There we go. So, this is the second half. Riverside Underground Maintenance Tunnel, second section. Then the wanton monster is farther down this way? Yeah, this part of the underground was all but abandoned after the subway was constructed. That's why we're more than likely going to find tougher monsters down here. Which is what I wanted to hear. Why does the air down here feel like it's been disturbed? So it's not just that monster we're going to find then. Oh, we should probably go to Giacomo's. Get down! <gasps> Bats? They ain't what we're here for, but it looks like a whole host of them have made themselves at home. Ugh, if I'd known this was what we were going to find, I'd have come ready for it. <sighs> I think we're going to have to... Shield your eyes for a sec. Get a new party member? Wait. Dingo? He can fight? Huh, got it. No, he can't fight. So, this is also a reference to someone... That's half of them. Got it. Then let's get the other half. All right. So I wonder. Out. Okay, he's not here, so that's fine. But yes, that's cool. That's not the first time a photographer has helped out in battle that way. Got a whole slew of them. Keep it up. It's working. Yeah. I think we can get more of them. Got a whole slew of them. All right. Well. And then she's got. 
Hydro cannon. Going all in. Yes. Drive. Ooh, good stuff, Van. Eat this. <clears throat> all he did was move out of the way. That sucks. Got two of them, though. What the heck is this? All you on yet. My move now. It is. Let's go ahead and... Got a whole slew of them. Do some aerial dust action. Uh, let's select these guys, because at least that one can't miss. Only 57, eating that for breakfast. But Dingo will probably just accompany us through the thing and like make it easier for us. We should visit the Giacomo room, though, just to make sure there's nothing there for us to uh, miss out on. All you on yet. Got him! Big time stun. Got a whole slew of them. There's a shark loose to get the upper hand. I'm glad she said that, because I am definitely not always thinking about shard stuff. Neat. All right. And then some for you guys. Going all in. Uh. This looks to be our best bet. Uh, Van will put some punishment on this guy. Got him. F out of here. That's how it goes. Neat. I won't stop here. Oh, she has 500 HP less than he does. Ooh. Huh. Ah. Surprised that didn't take more out of you. I'm fine, yes. <sighs> Good to hear. Were you the one who used that flash? Wait, or wait, you're Van's friend. Dingo Brad. The name's Dingo Brad. Me and Van go way back. Okay, seems like be a lot of that. I'm a reporter with Meld Magazine. Oh, wow! That's quite a well-known magazine! Covers everything from entertainment gossip to political sleaze to even the occult. And we did see a particular case of him covering some political sleaze not too long ago. Buzz Raider is the star of the show these days, but Mel's a classic that goes way back. Buzz Raider? Surprised you've heard of him. I didn't think an honor student like you would be into that kind of stuff. I'm not! I just happen to have a friend who loves it. I've only read a little. Wait, what is Meld Magazine? I'm not really understanding on Yes's reaction here. <laughs> you should tell that friend of yours to give it up. Meld's not for Aramis students to read, Miss Cladell. He already knows her name? He didn't learn it from me. Must have figured it out on his own. I'm no Bermati, but I'm in the same trade on the side. But your name is the extent of what I know, though. Don't worry. I don't mind. You seem like a close friend of Vance, so I'm sure you can be trusted. Thank you for helping us. Didn't take long to turn her around. <laughs> That's what being so damn handsome gets you. Just as we finally got even, though, I'm already back in your debt. What are you even doing down here? Something else pop up around Giacomo? Nope, I'm not here for work. You didn't pass anyone on your way here, did you? I know you're taking care of a monster for the guild, but I figured I'd ask. How did you... How did he know that? That happened like 50 minutes ago. Of course you already know. Wait a sec. You're telling me someone else is down here with us? Yeah, a civilian at that. Interesting! It's not another combatant? 20 year old female, no combat experience. That is very worrying! Wait a minute. It's not the rookie reporter from Tyrell Times, is it? Oh! I'm Mario M.A., the newest reporter with the Tyrell Times. You wouldn't happen to have anything to add about the murder, would you? I'll take anything. The woman we met outside the police station? Wish you were wrong, but that's the one. I had resigned myself to look for her alone, but you happened to show up at the perfect time. 
Mind giving me a hand? <sighs> well, it would put us back at even again. Besides, I get the feeling this might be my fault. What? She did? I, I mean, he is the one who set her on the police, and she probably picked up some information about Giacomo from them. About a fifth of it, I'm sure. She has a very competitive streak, and for some reason, she's pegged me as her rival. The whole reason she charged into the police station the other day was to get one up over me. Uh, one up over me. I'm sure you can guess how well that went. Ugh, yeah. I kind of feel bad now. Um, then? Because Van gave her the wrong information, her report didn't work out. So she grew frustrated and stormed right into danger in hopes of finding something worthwhile? Then what are we waiting for? We should go save her before something terrible happens! We're gonna. That's what I was saying. But we didn't see any sign of her on our way here, so she's gotta be farther in. I wish I could help in battle, but the only weapon I've got is my camera. I'll just have to lean on you two. Oh, so we can't inflict blind or something? I just hope she hasn't made it all the way to where that wanted monster is. Oh, she for sure has. I don't think the ordinary monsters here are any better for a civilian. But we need to hurry. She's in real danger. It's time to show Van all I've learned from my battles so far. She's going to learn her S-Craft here. I can't keep leaving most of the work to him forever. I need to be more proactive. On Yes, learn the S-Craft Brilliant Halo. Dingo is now accompanying the duo. Ooh, check that out. But, okay, we're going to go ahead and rescue her. And we're also going to complete the other stuff that Jin gave us. That's all going to be next time, though. So definitely join me then for more Trails Through Daybreak. Bye for now, guys. Never knew.